So remember that x plus 1, you need to consider that. it you Not you need to consider that. It is a factor. x plus 1, think of it as like a number using this. Okay, first let me do the first one. So 27x to the power 4y square is equal to 3 into 3 into 3 into x into x into x into x into y into y. And 48x square y cube is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into x into x into y into y into y. I'm using this method because some of you found it easier than doing the numerical part first and then the polynomial part. So now what is common? A 3. X into X. And Y into Y. So we see the circle part is common to both the monomials. And yes, Mukta, that's correct. And if we look at the part that's not circled, we can see that nothing else is common for these two monomials. So my HCF is simply 3 into x into x into y into y, which is 3x square y square. So what I've basically done is I've factorized both the monomials, written it in, written each factor and sub separated all these factors with multiplication signs. And then I circled whatever I found common, double checked everything once again, and then I wrote down my final HCF. You can use the same method for the polynomial, the second question. So let's take this as P1, let's take this as P2. P1 will be equal to x plus 1 into x plus 1 into, really I'll just I'll not confuse you with P1, P2. Write the polynomial as it is. So we have x plus 1 square y square. This is equal to x plus 1 into x plus 1 into y into y and the second one which is x plus 1 cube y is equal to x plus 1 into x plus 1 into x plus 1 into y. Now everything that's common I will circle so this is common and a y is common. So my HCF is equal to x plus 1 into x plus 1 into y, which is equal to x plus 1 square y. But the <clears throat> this question I took to the basic, the most basic form. So did you understand how we did this question if you were there for the whole question being solved? Vedan, still you have okay. Never mind, still getting disconnected. Okay, so I hope you are done writing. I waited for some time. Now, let's now there are questions where you will need to factorize first and then find the HCF. So let's say we have x square minus 4 and x square plus 4x plus 4. If we need to find the LCM of these two polynomials, we will first need to factorize it. Why do we need to factorize it to find the HCF? Because at the end of the day, HCF is the highest common factor. And to find the highest common factor, we would need to know what the factors are. 
So you know that x square minus 4 is equal to x square minus 2 square, which is equal to x minus 2 into x plus 2. And x square plus, this is using the a square minus b square equals a plus b into a minus b formula that we saw earlier this chapter. And x square plus 4x plus 4 is of the form. So one, you can do this using splitting the middle term method. Um, so you will get x square plus 2x plus 2x plus 4. But if you can identify that this is again, uh, this is again another formula. So this is x square plus 2 into 2x plus 2 square. You see that this is of the form a plus b square, which is a square plus 2ab plus b square. So this will be equal to x plus 2 whole square, which is x plus 2 into x plus 2. Now for these two polynomials, I see that x plus 2 is common to both. The x plus 2 is the highest common factor for both. So the HCF of these two polynomials is x plus 2. What about the rest? Did you understand? Yes. 